<clears throat> Zach. Hi, that's me. Will you be doing a Q&A before MLB opening day? Well, does anybody else want to see me do one before opening day? Let's find out. Q&A part 28, please. That's pretty good. Can you do part 28? And check this out. Q&A part 28 for Burt Blylevin? For Buster Posey? No idea, but I want to see it. Yeah, uh, Cryptic. Those are two top-notch players who wore that uniform number, but between the two of those guys, who do we choose? Do part 28 for Buster Poesi, please. Well, close enough. And I think, you know what? I think we got to dedicate this whole video to Buster. And check this out. One more interesting request for a Q&A from Aiden Fink, who says, do a Q&A part 28 for all the teams in Major League Baseball, and if you're thinking his math is off, he says, we can forget the Yankees and Astros. 28 teams have relevance. Wow, Aiden, you're going to piss some people off with that. Aiden, you guys should know, is a diehard Red Sox fan, so you'll either have to excuse him or thank him, depending on your perspective. And you know what? As you can maybe hear sirens outside. Yeah, we're in New York City right now, but... You know what? I think the cops are going to show up here if we don't get right into part 28 of my Q&A video series. I am fired up. It's been a while. So let's get into the questions <laughs> with those sirens still going. That is not a sound effect. That is really outside my window. Here we go. Zach, do you think life begins at conception? Yeah. Wow. Um, do I have to answer your questions? That one's a little bit heavy. Can we maybe get something a little bit lighter in there? Q&A 28, do you like turtles? <laughs> um, that's maybe a little too light, but yes. Do you guys want to ask me anything baseball related? I mean, that is kind of what I'm known for a little bit. Um, okay. You excited for Blyer's new journey in Boston? For those who might not know what Blyer in this case refers to, that is Richard Blyer, major league pitcher who started his career on the Yankees, then played for the Orioles, then the Marlins, and now he's with the Red Sox. He is the current player that I am friendliest with. He's thrown me a ton of baseballs over the years, and yeah, I'm excited to have him pitching closer to home, at least home for me. So yeah, I'm all for it. Hey, Zach. Hey, Aiden. How many times have you caught double digits at a game before? So, okay, Aiden is referring to games when I snag at least 10 baseballs at a major league stadium. And the answer is 391 times over the years. How about that? That is a lot of games hitting double digits. And fun fact, for those of you keeping score at home, I have had a double digit game at 43 different major league stadiums, so I feel pretty good about that. And I've done it at all 30 current stadiums. So I wonder if anybody out there can break those records. How many baseballs did you have when you caught A-Rod's 3,000th hit? Well, okay, just to respectfully correct you on one thing, I didn't catch A-Rod's 3,000th hit. I picked it up off the ground, but I was the one who snagged it, and that was career baseball number 8161, including batting practice, toss-ups, you know, pregame home runs, all that stuff, 8,161 as of the A-Rod 3,000th hit. Huh. Everyone says, how many balls do you have, Zach, but never, how are your balls, Zach? Oh, Jay Her underscore baseball. Um, thanks, I think, for your consideration. Um, you guys really want to hear me talk about this? Can I just say that my balls are fine and we can move on from there, hopefully? How many ball jokes have you heard over the years? Uh, more than the actual number of balls that I have snagged. For your next Q&A vid, can you eat a bagel? You know what, James? I'm glad you asked because I happen to be really, really hungry right now. And I just have 
something sitting over here. Just excuse me for a second. Did, did you guys notice this right here? Yeah, so, um, gosh, I wonder what, I wonder what this could possibly be. Should we, op should we open this up together and take a look? Check it. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Now, James, you didn't say that I had to eat a bagel just like by itself with nothing on it, right? I hope, I mean, yeah. Look at this thing. We have uh, cream cheese, it's an onion bagel. Um, avocado, tomatoes, and onions. And you know what? We are gonna take a nice big bite of this thing because James asked me to. So here we go. Mm. So rather than sitting here and making you guys watch me eat a whole bagel, these little onion bits just went everywhere, I think we should just keep going with the questions. Does that sound good? Mm. Thank you, James. Really good idea. Uh-oh, I got onions on my computer. We don't want that. All right, so do I have cream cheese on my face? Probably. Oh, well. What's the worst thing you've ever eaten at a major league stadium? Again, coming from Aiden Fink. Aiden, I think, has the world record for most comments left on my YouTube channel. And Aiden, the answer is pizza. And don't get me wrong, I love pizza. I'll eat as much pizza as anyone, but I had pizza in an unusual stadium in Australia when Major League Baseball played there to open the 2014 season, Diamondbacks versus Dodgers. The pizza there was horrific. I was traumatized from it. Zero out of 10, do not recommend, two thumbs down, but I came back to New York City where we have the best pizza in the world and I ate a ton of it after that. So it almost made me appreciate it more. When did you start going to games regularly, asks the Super Chicken. So I was 14 and living in New York City. Then I'd already been riding the subway by myself to school and home for a couple of years. So it wasn't a huge leap to get my parents to let me go to games on my own. Um, tickets were way cheaper then, so it wasn't as hard to go to a bunch of games. And yeah, that's when my collection really took off. Uh, I, I had to, I will add, my parents said, as long as you wake up for school and you get your homework done, you can go to games. So that's how I, that's how I jump-started my collecting career at the age of 14. Approximately how many baseball games have you ever been to? I don't know the exact number. I do know exactly how many baseballs I've snagged, which as of this moment is 12,062. For the games, I had to estimate because I wasn't keeping exact track of that early on, but I believe that number to be 1,951. You know, again, not accurate, even though that is like a very precise number. I tried to figure it out. Zach, what is the total number of times you've been to Yankee Stadium? So at the old stadium, I went to 207 games. And at the new stadium, I went to 300, or I've been to 366. That number will continue to grow. So quick math, 207, 366. Uh, 573 Yankee games at home. Plus, I've been to the stadium some other times on top of that for some like equipment, donation events for charity, or like season ticket holder events in the off season. But yeah, 573 home games at Yankee stadiums, plural, over the years. Hey, Zach, quick question. How many Atlanta Braves games in your life have you been to? Okay, so you said quick question, but I'm actually gonna take my time in answering this because I want you guys to know how you can look up this type of information on your own on my website. So first things first, we're gonna do a little screen record video here. Go to my website, zachhample.com, and I will say that it looks better on desktop than mobile, so you know, pull it up on your laptop. And then over here, there is a baseball collection link, so click that. You're gonna see these six panels open up. You can hover over them and see what the different ones are. And on the bottom left, there's this one called lists. So click that, okay? 
And then there's all this text. You can scroll down. There's all these different years. We're gonna add a 2023 one pretty soon. And even below that, there's a link called Stadium Totals. So you click that and then look at this. There's a master list of every stadium I've been to, the number of games, the number of game balls, meaning you know foul balls and home runs during games, no toss ups on that list, and then the total balls. So if we scroll down a little bit, or let's just actually do a search for, let's say, Turner Field, all right? Uh, the Braves' former stadium. I've been to 18 games there, and you can see the number of balls I caught, 239. I always put up big numbers there. And, you know, we can also scroll down a little bit, right? And then you'll see down in here, there is Truist, which of course was named SunTrust early on. I've been to 11 games there. That's what that number represents. And if you scroll all the way, almost entirely to the bottom, look at this. Fulton County was the Braves stadium two stadiums ago. I only ever went to one game there and I am very lucky to have snagged one ball on a day with no BP. So anyway, you do the math, 18 games at Turner Field, 11 at SunTrust slash Truist, and then one at Fulton County, 30 Braves home games over the years. So now you guys know how to find this info on my website, ZachHampel.com. Check it out, there's lots of good stuff there. q and I heard that you were banned from three stadiums. What three stadiums were you banned from? Well, Vivid Films, you know what I heard? I heard that you've been duped by misinformation on the internet. I know, crazy, right? Like, there's actually stuff written on the internet that's not true. Are you guys aware of that? It's crazy. So, yeah, I'm not banned from any stadiums. Just last year, I went to all 30 stadiums, and it was the fifth different season in which I've gone to all 30 Major League stadiums. So, you can't exactly do that if you're banned. So... Yeah, I don't know where that came from, but I'm not banned from any stadiums. Now you know. Huh. Ari Frankel asks, where were you on October 29th, 2007? I don't know why I am asking. Ari, I don't know why you're asking either, but I do have an answer for you. I will pull up this screenshot or a photograph of an old journal entry that I wrote, and you can see that I was on the Upper West Side in New York City. It says on Monday, 10-29-07, I met my two real estate brokers, a husband-wife team named Sandra and David Inocenzi, et cetera, et cetera. We met at Crumbs on Amsterdam and like 76th. And so that's where I was, right here in New York City. Aren't you glad you asked? And yes, I document and keep track of everything because I'm crazy, but it's also because I'm fun and yeah. How many people do you follow on Instagram who are baseball players? Well, if you look at my Insta right here, you can see that I'm only following two people. One of them is Neil deGrasse Tyson, who's awesome. The other is Dan Savage, who's also awesome in a very different way. I unfollowed MLB over the off season. I just needed to decompress, get away from baseball, not see it all the time everywhere I look. Um, I'll follow MLB again soon, probably. Um, but zero baseball players, you know, people are like, why don't you follow Mike Trout? Well, Trout follows me on Twitter, so I follow him there. But, you know, Trouty, since I know you're watching my videos, you want to throw me a follow and I'll follow you back? I'll look for it. Can you sing us some rap music? <laughs> what? Zach, can you please rap? For real? You guys want me to rap. Okay, I mean, I do really love, especially old school rap. Uh, this might be very awkward and cringy, but you guys asked for it. God, do I have food caught in my teeth? Anyway, um, all right, see if you know this song. We're just gonna pick it up right in the middle. I'm a b-boy, standing in my b-boy stance, hurry up and give me the microphone before I bust in my pants, the mad author of anguish, my language polluted, Onyx is heavyweight, and it's still undisputed. Yeah, anyway, um, how was that? That would be Slam by Onyx. I love it. 
Oh, look at this. Another question from Aiden Fink. Aiden, stop hogging up all the questions. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, Aiden always asks good questions. How much longer do you think it will take you to get to 100 game home runs? 19 more to go at the time I'm leaving this comment. So Aiden, I guess you left that comment prior to the 2022 season. I had 81 home runs then. I got seven last year, so I'm up to 88, 12 away. I seem to get a home run during games about every 10 games that I'm sitting in the outfield. So of course I go to games sometimes and don't sit in the outfield. So do the math, you'd figure maybe 120 more games in the outfield. I don't know that I'm gonna be at that many games, let's say in the next two years. I might actually slow the pace down somewhat. Got a little burned out last year. So let's say, um, let's say it'll take me three years. 2025 is my prediction. Man, the cops are really going crazy, you hear that? Yeah. And here's a question from Speed Bro, who says, what would you like your 100th homer to be like? Who hit it, pitched it, where, when, how? I will just say this. I want it to be pitched and hit by Shohei Otani. The man can do it all, so I'd like to see him do it all on one baseball. Part 28 question. How cool was that Mitch guy from the Watch With Zach game in Detroit? Yeah, you know, um, I remember Mitch well. In fact, we're still in touch. Mitch is truly an outstanding human being. He was so much fun, very dynamic, great on camera, just good to spend time with. He really, he really brought his A game and snagged four foul balls during a game. What an accomplishment, what a person. So um, yeah, the answer is that Mitch was extremely very cool. Um, this comment coming from someone named Mitch. What a coincidence. Zach, I went to your high school 20 years later and played baseball there too. Who was your high school coach? That would be Mr. Rabicki. And you can see a photo of us together right here, way back in the day when I had some hair. Um, I wonder if Mr. Rabicki was still your coach. We had a lot of fun together. We went undefeated one season and then lost in the championship game. So undefeated with an asterisk. Uh, Mr. Rabicki, if you're out there watching this, Mwah. I love you and I miss you. Zach, will you read this question and stare blankly at the camera? Part 28 question, what do you do to keep your glutes in such great shape? They get better with age. Is that true? Do we need to see? Well, I'm wearing black pants. It's kind of hard to tell, but yeah, I don't, I don't know that you guys really wanted to see that. That's probably a sign that we should wrap up this Q&A, but um, I eat well, uh, bagels excluded, uh, exercise a lot. I do a lot of stairs and squats. Thanks for asking and noticing. Um, and yeah, I always wrap up Q&A videos with shout outs. So why don't we do a few? And I've often said that if you want a shout out, you gotta be creative, make yourself stand out somehow because I get a lot of requests. So here's one that definitely caught my eye. It says, if you give me a shout out, I will give you two bottles of water if we ever meet at a game or beer, but I know you don't drink. Well, that's true. I hate beer. I think it's disgusting. I've had like two sips of beer in my life. Um, and I've still never been drunk, but yeah, I'm all about the bottled water. Jack, thank you. Here's a shout out for you. You the man, thank you for being a fan. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate that. And I hope that I will get to collect on that water, but I just wanna remind you of one thing, which you probably know already, since you're a fan of my videos. Not Dasani, please and thank you. Huh. Look at this comment. It says, and now a Zach Hample haiku. I like Zach Hample. He catches lots of baseballs. Shout out for me, please. So I, I like it. For those who don't know, a haiku, it, it follows a specific format. Three lines, five syllables, seven syllables, five syllables, and Ice Bear, you nailed it. So here's a shout out for you. 
Um, thank you for watching. And I really hope that um, human beings assault on the planet and climate change has not completely destroyed your natural habitat yet. Um, and finally, look at this one. Uh, a lot of emojis. If you see what this person wrote at the bottom, it says first letter of each emoji spells out a question. So like the first little group of three, it's, it's a car, an ant, and a notebook, right? Car, ant, notebook, C-A-N, can. Then the next emoji by itself is the flag from where? Italy, with the letter I, so can I. And it goes from there. That flag in the next word or clump is from Venezuela. So horse, ant, Venezuela, and then I, you know, spell with the letter E, so H-A-V-E. Can I have a shout out, please? EV4N17, absolutely, that is brilliantly executed. Thank you for being so creative. Creative geniuses, all you people out there, I love you. Um, and EV4N17, thank you. I'm glad you, you chose unicorns and not umbrellas because unicorns are my spirit animal. Um, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna leave it right there. What a perfect comment to end on. So, um, if you guys wanna see a part 29 of my Q&A series, keep those comments coming. I'm not sure when I'll do a Q&A 29, but it'll happen at some point. So I will screenshot your comments, I'll save them, pick the best ones, and then unleash them on you when you least expect it. And as for the 2023 season. I know I haven't been posting much over the off season. Like I said, I just kind of needed to clear my head, but you can expect lots more videos and uh, coming from lots more stadiums. I might even be at Yankee Stadium on opening day. That remains TBD, but we shall see. So look forward to that. You'll be seeing lots more of me coming soon and much love to all of you. Even the people whose comments didn't make it into this video. I know you're out there watching and it means the world to me. So happy 2023 season to all you guys and I'll catch you soon. Oh, and we're just gonna close this out with uh, mm, more bagel. Mm.